Okay, now it's time to find some proportions. Okay, this is the first one we're going to do. So, for all of these exercises, we're going to use the same data. We have a mean of 71. This test exam was 71. It had a standard deviation of 14. This particular, particular problem from the lesson says, what proportion of people scored below a 68? So, the way we solve this is the steps, stepwise procedure. Step number one, we draw a graph. Label it. You want to put at least two standard deviations on it. Okay, step one. Step two is we calculate the z-score. That's my z right there. We know the z is raw score minus the mean over s. So our raw score is in the problem right here, 68, minus the mean given to us, 71, over 14. That comes out to negative 0.21. So that is step two. Step three, put this right up here first. Step two, calculate the z. Step three is place it on the graph, negative 0.21. Well, that's going to be about there, I guess. Negative 0.21. That is step three. Step four is shade. Now, when you shade, I recommend you go back and you read the problem. Make sure you don't shade the wrong area. What proportion of, of students in the class scored below a 68? So below is this way. So we want to shade this area here. So that's the area we're looking for. So shading is step four. And step five is go to the Z table. But before we go to the Z table, let's kind of get an, a feel for what we're looking for. Remember, the Z table only gives us half of the normal curve. You have the first column, which is where your z-scores are, so we're going to look for a z-score of 0.21 in column 1. But then we have an option of either finding the proportion from column 2 or from column 3. And what you have to get down on this is column 2 is always z to the mean, and column 3 is always z to the end. 2, z to the mean, 3 is z to the end. So you can see now where we're going to find our answer. That's right, in column three. So now it's off to the z-table to find that answer. All right, so here's the z-table we got here from the lesson link. And we want to scroll down, and in column one, we want to find our z-score of 0.21. Well, there it is right there, 0.21. And we want to find the column three value. And there's the column three value, 0.4168. So that means that 41.68% of students scored below a score of 68. That is our answer, 0 0.4168.